The coagulase test is used to differentiate species of Staphylococcus that produce coagulase, or Staphylase, from those that do not. Coagulase is a fibrinogen cleaving enzyme that results in the formation of fibrin clots. Coagulase positive Staphylococci include the pathogen Staph aureus, and the coagulase negative Staphylococci include the commensals Staph hominis and Staph epidermidis. There are two versions of the coagulase test, a tube test that takes longer but is more sensitive, and the slide test, which we will be using here. Bacterial colonies are smeared on an agglutination card to which the fibrinogen sensitized red blood cells are added. First, pick one to three colonies of the positive control Staph aureus and smear these onto the agglutination card. Next, pick one to three colonies of the negative control, Staph epidermidis, and smear the colonies in the adjacent circles on the card. This procedure will be repeated for our mannitol fermenting and non-fermenting isolates. The bacterial smear will be a translucent off-white smudge on the card. It is important to mix the blood reagents first as the cells can sink to the bottom of these tubes. The test reagent is fibrinogen sensitized red blood cells and the control reagent is red blood cells without fibrinogen. Apply a few drops of the blood onto the smear, then mix with a sterile toothpick. Observe the lack of agglutination with the control reagent. Now repeat using the fibrinogen sensitized red blood cells. Mix with a fresh sterile toothpick. And observe the agglutination. This procedure will be repeated for all of the samples. Based on these results, which are also in your online lab book, which Staphylococcus species could the two isolates be?